Hello, how are you doing? Sorry it's been a while. I've been procrastinating, working and shit, like I always do. Anyway, hope you guys are doing good. I haven't been able to talk to you guys as often as I used to, which kind of sucks. It always feels like I never am around anymore because I haven't been, but you know, that's besides. But like, I'm always here in your hearts, you know, right there next to the clogged artery or that piece of like chicken that got stuck between your teeth. Whichever, right? Oh, ooh, ooh, look who we're picking up. This little spy. We haven't read for him since... I think since last year, or maybe even before that. I can't remember. It's been a while since we peeked on the sneakster. Well, everybody, newcomers, returning visitors, fellow practitioners, and weirdos alike, and everybody else in between. This is an all-signs reading. Either it resonates with you, or you don't. You know? If it doesn't, you just boop your nose, and away it goes. There's no reason getting upset over something that's not about you, right? Even though it should be. But if it's not, don't worry about it, right? I also like saying naughty words. So if you don't like that, I'm sorry. But I'm probably not going to stop saying fuck a lot, because that's just my thing. And asphyxiation. It's actually one of my favorite words. Let's see... Up in the energy, bad judgment call with the situation being King of Wands, both reverse. Hmm. Let's see. Either something didn't get resurrected. No, no, it's not even a resurrection. It's like a bad idea. Good idea, bad idea. What was the bad idea? Possibly just King of Wands reverse. Probably like a man child. Probably somebody who you can't tell apart from these children. Because he refuses to wear the same color socks for some reason. And threw a fit because he wasn't able to eat those styrofoam peanuts that come in packages. Wants and wishes, also Leo. The sun also could be Gemini as well. The uh, obstacle and challenge is the magician reverse. Someone poisoning a cup. He and the king of wands are staring dead ass at each other. Like, ready. Let's see. Fears and rejections is the Ace of Wands. How this shit starts, how it'll end, is the High Priestess Reverse. Hiding true feelings and a fear of something new beginning. And the beginning theme is... Six of Swords leaving a place. They probably set on fire, you know. Probably for good reason. I don't know what that reason is. But everything's on fire, and it's time to go. But boys, better to go to bear land than to fire land, I say. <laughs> That's so stupid. Oh well. Hmm. Judgment call? Definitely a bad idea. It was a terrible idea to think that you you could shut your candle can shine brighter than the sun. Especially if it's one of those candles you um what is it, you put a battery in? So it like it's like a Walmart candle, right? Like you know it's fake. It is nowhere near as bright as the sun, because you know, you stare at the sun long enough, your eyeballs are gonna burn out, right? Because that's how it works, you know. It's like someone's trying to make their truth into the truth. Or Lying in a very childish way to say. Because that just popped in my head. And it's about like how a relationship ended. They might be trying to change their own perspective so they don't have to look at the actual perspective. Um, yeah, trying to feel justified in where they sat in the situation. Hmm. Crazy tasty. King of Wands reverse with the situation. Man child. Can't tell them apart from the kids. Probably volatile. Probably really bad-tempered. You know. Uh, 
standing is true, the sword's down, not really being hostile. Feels as though he is in control and is hard at work. Oh, okay, well, you know, if it, like you. I don't understand what exactly is happening. <laughs> Like, that's weird. It's like this uh, King of Wands reverse. He's childish. I think he, he, like, he's got a bad temper, possibly a bad attitude a lot of times. But it's like he stands in his truth and he's very kind, as is the Emperor over here as well. Libra Sagittarius. No, wait. That is not even what I was trying to say. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Then we got the Emperor right here as well, which is an Aries. So it definitely could be Aries someone's involved with. But it's like, this dude's pretty chill. Like, he's just, I don't know, annoying or some shit? Is that? <laughs> I don't know. Or is someone like whining because they're not getting in their way or some shit? It's like, I want a man who's honest. I want a man who knows how to take control. And I want a working hard man. And it's like, you know. Bitch, you gotta pick one. You can't have all of them. Oh, dear. Wants and wishes, right? The sun. Someone's happy with somebody else. But it's like, they want to end it early. They just started. What the fuck? What? Could be with the Gemini, too, since, like, there's a pair here as well. But it's like some relationship just started and someone wants it to end in order to be happy. Yeah. Take those two cups and start some other shit with some other bitch. Right? Ooh. A mistress? Ooh. Could be a Pisces or a Cancer with the moon card. Secrets. And I got the high priestess over here, so Pisces could be a the Magician reversed in the obstacle and challenges. Uh, also, reversed up here. Mm -mm. What does he fuck up? You know, an ending. <laughs> okay. He's trying to manipulate something for the wrong reasons. Yeah. Hide his true intention with the High Priestess right here once again. Um, but it's finding really no rest or balance between any of this, you know? It's like what they know keeps them up, but they're ignoring it in order to end something or to cause something to happen. Hmm. That's crazy. Anyway, fears and rejections, ace of wands. Ah, uh, someone will run back and say something. This is a fear of a new beginning. And there's the judgment card. Like deciding the fate of whatever. And then feeling abandoned like a child with all their feels. Hmm. Not understanding why daddy didn't love them enough to come back after a cigarette run. I don't know. Um. But it's like someone wants to run away from feeling abandoned like a child and having judgment cast on them a little bit. Hmm. High Priestess. She's not revealing her true secrets because, like, or her truth, Ace of Wands once again, because might lead to a disaster. However, not doing something might also lead to a disaster, too. So take your pick, Quirant. Uh, trying to hold on with strength, of course. But really not picking up that they're the ones putting themselves in this situation to begin with. Hmm. Ending theme. Uh, baseless. Insecure. It's like somebody having stuff that makes them feel secure, but it no longer makes them feel secure. In fact, it's like a false security system. 
Like, you just have your brother, like, get on the microphone and go, wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. This is a security system. Get the fuck out the house, please, <laughs> before the police are called. Thank you very much. You know, it's kind of like that. It's like, we all know you can't afford it, but you're going to try that shit anyway. It's like, someone's losing what made them feel secure, and they almost feel like they want to leave now. Mm. Something about a comfort zone. You know, when people get too comfortable and shit. I don't know. Or maybe this person's bored. You never know. People are weird like that. Not that people don't have reasons for their actions. And, like, I, you know, anything can be justified when you really you take the time to think about it. You know? Like, Hitler killed a bunch of people because he didn't get into art school. Think, think anything could be a justified reason for doing whatever, you know? Even the weirdest shit you've ever heard of. <laughs> like, uh, why are we doing this? Oh, because, you know, you know. Yeah, no. Anyway. Let's go over all of these. This energy over here where someone's like, yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. Like, someone's trying to, like, justify a breakup. Like I said that at the very beginning with their energy. And, like, they're still trying to do that, but it's like they're setting themselves up. Hmm. I'm not sure. Okay, let's see. They're making excuses, just finding any reason to have this happen, so they can leave somebody else thirsty. Like, he loves these cups there, like, there you go, you thirsty bitch, and she's sitting there like, oh, but I still left it. It's like someone's still, like, making excuses for why they don't want someone to walk away. It's like, I, 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 like, please, I, like, I'm sending more messages. Don't leave this behind and have me, like, wondering where there's going to be more juice at, you know? But they got to let that shit go. Temperance. Just have patience, I feel like. Down below in the situation, two people are just not coming together on something. It's like, okay, look at, like, this could be a guy, right? this querent and it's like he's got all of these great qualities but he's very very childish like very honest very kind very accepting very much knows how to take control of a situation hard worker w very well developed but he he's a fucking child or she's a fucking child one to two and it's like these two people can't seem to meet eye to eye on anything right now. Let's see. And, you know, someone's just, like, looking for a phone call, being like, are you gonna call me back? I miss you. You know, in order to create that happy family right here. Okay, so the wants and wishes. Do be working hard for whatever reason. Working hard not to have anything happen or change. Ada wants words. He's really like gonna shoot Temperance in the fucking foot. He's gonna shoot Archangel Michael in the foot. At least I think that's Archangel Michael. I don't know all the angel names. I'm not familiar with them. I know who Michael and Gabriel is, and everybody else is just like, oh, okay. I'm let well, you have wings. Like I know, I kind of know what a cherub is. That was that? No, no, I think I got the. Never mind. Never mind. Mm. It's like they want to send somebody packing, just be like, no, this is my homeless bitch. Get your own. Go on, get, you know? You know, homeless bitch is looking at this other bitch like, where did she get the food to be that fat? I want to be that fat. He's like, we don't need to be fat, baby. We'll be together together. It's just like, I'm hungry. You know, it's like... Hmm. What a weird vibe. 
Merritt, you're an odd person. I feel like... I feel like you're scared to be alone. Like the dude in the chair and the dude in the boat. I don't know. Anyway. Obstacles and challenges. What comes up after? Um, no one's going anywhere. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, that just answered everything. Nobody's going anywhere. <laughs> That's funny. Um, no, everybody... No, you're at a crossroads, Quirin. And this helps you, like, get somewhere with St. Michael. He might call you to ascend and whatnot. Or, or... Or is the goal to get someone to stick around to help you with the crossroads and you both go over the crossroads so it seems like you both get into heaven like there are multiple people going to heaven here so that might be the scenario too as well hmm it's like I'm sorry you missed the boat hang yourself upside down from this tree we'll work through this together you know Okay, fears and rage actions, right? Mind you, the Eight of Cups is over here, too. Like, this person's afraid. This parent is afraid of being abandoned. But they'll do it to somebody else. Or they're scared of... Like, they're terror... Like, well, in both cases, they're terrified of being left behind by the person they love greatly. But one's from a more childish stance, and the other one is more of the energy of, like, my love. Just fucking left, and I don't know what to do about that, you know? Uh, maybe they want to choke the fuck out of them because they think they're an animal for it, too. Could be definitely a Leo involved here. Leo's been all over the board. Um, someone's really suspicious of somebody else, I feel like. Like, looking at him, like, I really, um... Look at you and let my guard down. And the answer actually is yes, you can. Quarren, I feel like you're a bit... What is this? Jealousy or like... Fucking insecurity or like well yeah insecurities is right there and feeling like you need to leave for sure but it's like or are you, no are you insecure about someone leaving you is that why the temperance card is over here being like let this shit the fuck go because you're all paranoid and such because like that's what I'm getting. Even in your fears, it's like a happy ending almost. Like, even here, even though this person's leaving to get out in the cold, these two people are still keeping together despite the cold weather. Keeping each other warm. And then there's a group of people over here. I think you're scared your lover is going to leave you and I don't even think that that's the fucking case or whoever it is I'm not sure but I don't think that's gonna happen to you in this regard I feel like you're letting your fear get to you more than anything how this shit starts how it'll end well, everything's fucking wonky, that's for damn sure. Mmm. And temptation abound. Mmm. Look at them clapping cheeks together. And that causes... Mmm. Okay. Alright, well, that's what I get for opening my fucking mouth, but... Hmm. Hmm.
Like, something doesn't go right? No, 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 no. This shit isn't adding up. That's why. Uh, if you're worried, Querent, that your lover is falling for temptation, um, no. Like, because right now I only see the pentacle. Well, I can see the sword too, but the pentacle right here is definitely displayed. And this kid's taking a pentacle out of this box where they got all their money and shit, right? And it's like, no, that component is not there to make this shit happen. It's almost like saying, like, you know, if you're worried that, like, your significant other is being unfaithful to you, like, no, the components aren't there. Most of them, yes. But that last little element, that last little pentacle was taken by a child, and it's like, no. I mean, I don't know how that makes you feel to know that there's just, like, one little thing that's, like, you know... Keeping you and possibly your person together, queer it. But it's that one thing. It could be money, you know, maybe that's why they aren't going out doing whatever. Or it could be something else of value, something that they treasure very dearly that has a great deal to do with you. But whatever it is, they value you more than they do the temptation. And I don't think that your significant other would risk it. So, that's what I can give you. Um, so, yeah. There we go. That's the end of the video, everybody. If you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I would greatly appreciate it. Right? Right. Anyway, you guys have a great evening. I'll try to see you soon. I might try to get all the Zodiacs done by Thursday, but if not, I'll just upload them on Saturday. Please stand by. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.